Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this one, we will see another option to bring in third-party dependencies into your project. In the last video, I showed you how to do that using VC package. Now we will be using Conan. But before we even look at it, let's search it up and see what it is all about. Go in your favorite search engine and put in Conan C++ and you will get a link like this. Click on it. It's going to take you to Conan.io and the software package manager for C and C++ developers, okay? One thing you should know is that this thing is written in Python, but that's not a problem. Which computer is not running Python anyway today? So this is going to be fine. It needs Python installed in your system and you install it using the pip package manager. I think there are many ways to install it. For example, you can use Chocolately on Windows, I haven't used that thing myself, so I will be using the pip package manager to install it, but you can uh, read about it here. It is universal and portable. It is open source and completely free. It can manage a number of different binaries. It has a repository. I think it is named Conan Center. So if we search for Conan Center, just like VC package, it's going to provide a bunch of libraries that you can use right away. For example, again, we can search for FMT. You will see that they have it. We can search for catch two. You can see that they have it, 350, even better than what we have used. We can search for Google. Let's see, Google test. Okay, they have it. G test, that's, what is, that's the name they use here. We can search for SFML, they have it. We can search for Qt, I think they have it as well. They have FFmpeg, let's do that. FFmpeg, they have it. They have a bunch of libraries. All these libraries, I think they almost are the same at this point. It is going to be a matter of preference for which one you choose. If you don't like Python, then you can go with the VC package because it is written in C++. It doesn't have Python as a dependency, but I wouldn't really let that slow me down on picking Conan because it is also a good package manager. Let's see how to use it. The first thing we need to do is to install it and you will be using the pip package manager. All you have to do to install it is to run the pip install conan command as you see here. So this is the command you need to run. This is going to download and install conan on your system. Once you have it installed, so we have installed it, we can check this box. You will need to tell CMEC to use conan. How do you do it? It is the same thing we did with VC package. You will set up the CMEC toolchain file variable and it needs to point into your binary directory and pick up the conan toolchain CMake file. This is a file that is going to be generated when you run the Conan command. It is not going to be there by default. So that's something you need to know. But you also have the option to include it just like we did with VZ package. Just make sure that this file is not going to be there by default. You need to generate it by running the Conan command as I am about to show you. Okay, let's move on to the next step. In the next step, we need to tell Conan about our dependencies and it's not going to be using a JSON file like VC package. It is going to use what we call a Conan file. So you see Conan file.py here, it is a Python file and you will set up a class. You don't have to name it exactly as I named it here. You can name it anything, but you have to inherit from Conan file. You have to import these things and this will give you the ability to do what we are doing in the body of the class here. So you have to specify the operating system, the compiler, the build type, and the architecture. These things are going to be picked up by default. And these are stored in what is called a Conan file. This is going to be available the first time you run Conan, if I remember correctly. Let's look in the documentation if we have any clues up to that. So let's go to documentation here. We can do that. And look, let's look at introduction here. So open source, whatever, whatever, whatever. How do you install and use it? Install. Okay, you can install with pip, which is the recommended way, which is what we did. And once you do that, it is going to set up a profile for you. And the profile is going to be in your user directory. In my case, it is in C. Let's make sure we can create a new directory to show you that. So let's go in C users. 
let's find users if I can find that I can't can I users go to Daniel and we have Conan 2 and we have a Conan profile file here is this the profile let's look at that no it's not what is it called uh, version profiles if we go in profiles we have a default profile here and it is going to say the default configuration that is going to be used on my system. You see x86-64, the build is going to be released by default. It is going to be using the MSVC compiler. We will be using C++14, but we can change these in the Conan command that we are going to run in a minute. The point I'm trying to make here is that if you install Conan, it is going to set up a profile for you. And the information in the profile is what is going to be picked up by this setting object here. So OS, compiler, build type, and architecture. We set up a generator, which is going to help us generate things that CMake needs from this Conan file. So this is what we need here. And we have the most important part here. This is going to set up the requirements that we need. We need catch two. And what you need to bring in those dependencies, you go to Conan Center. And for example, you search for catch to, and you copy this string here. If we look at it, we see a button to copy to clipboard. You can copy this and put that in your CMake project. So that's going to be what you paste in here. I am going to be using catch 340 because I don't need to update. I tested this using the 3.4.0 version. If you want, you can use five. It is going to work right away, I think. So we have FMT, we specify the version. We have SFML, we specify the version. And now Conan knows about the dependencies that we need. And we specified all this information in the Conan file.py file. Once we have this information, we will need to run a Conan command. So the command is going to be Conan install. We specify the build type to be debug. We specify the C++ standard to be C++20. The output is going to go in the build folder and we instruct Conan to build the dependencies if they are not found on our local system. That's what the missing command here is doing. Once you run the Conan command, it is going to download and install the dependencies. And now you will be able to run the find package command and link against these libraries, just like we did with VC package. Let's look at the live project here. Here I have episode 029. It is this project. Again, before you try this, make sure you have Conan installed. You can install that through pip. Once you do that, you set up the CMake toolchain file and you have to point into the binary directory where Conan is going to be putting its output. So it is a CMake binary dir, which is going to be our build directory here. Make sure you set this up. After you set this up, you should have a Conan file. It should follow the instructions we have shown in the slides, but uh, notice here that we are using catch to this version, FMT, this version, SFML, this version. Once we have this in place, we will need to run the Conan command. We're going to run it, but before we do, let's make sure that our build directory is empty. Let's remove whatever garbage was put in there by the last time I built this project here. So let's clean it up. The build directory is empty. Now we can pick up the Conan command. I am going to pick that up from my notes here because I don't want to type it. So copy and go to my terminal here and run the command. The command is going to say Conan. Okay, it is going to run because we have Conan installed. But before we even do this, let's make sure I show you that we have Conan installed. I think we can do Conan version version. So let's say Conan version, and it is going to tell me the version that I have installed. So let's put in the command. Again, the command is going to build in debug mode. Remember that in the profile we had release by default, so we are overriding that. We are overriding the C++ standard. We want to have the output in the build directory, which is going to be our build directory here. And we want to build missing dependencies. Let's run this command here and see what happens. So you can see that. Let's go to the start and see the output input profiles. This is the profile we are using in this project. This is the default profile we had in our system. 
It is going to compute the dependencies. It is going to download the dependencies and install them. Notice that it is saying that they are already installed because they have been cached on this system here. So if another project happens to use them, the build is going to go faster because they have been cached. And then all this caching and whatever is documented in the official documentation, you should read that if you need more information on this. My goal here is just to get you started using CMake with Conan as a dependency manager. Now we have installed the dependencies that we need. And if you go back to our cmakelist.txt file, you will notice that we have in our find package commands, they are going to find our dependencies. Another thing I want you to see is that Conan is going to generate a user preset file for you that we don't really need at this point. So you can delete it. We don't need this now. We will talk about it in a few videos ahead. But now we can find package and link against our libraries. Notice that it is really not that different from what we did with VC package. The only difference is that you have to actively run the Conan command to download the dependencies. The download was triggered by our configuration with the VC package, but now we have to remember to manually run the Conan command, this command, every time we add a new dependency to our project, because Conan then will know to download it and install it. So this is the main difference I see with these tools. You can use Conan, you can use VC package. It is going to be a matter of preference. Now we have downloaded the dependencies we can configure. So let's do configure, so cmake. The source directory is the current directory. We can point to the build directory and configure. It is going to be using this Conan tool chain. It is going to say that here. It is, to, it is going to detect the compilers, but notice that it's going to be detecting the targets that are given by our dependencies. It has detected that we have a cache to target we have a cache to cache to with main target. We have FMT and we have all these targets from SFML. This is really cool. You can link against these targets. We even have targets that are brought in by things that our third party dependencies depend on. Notice we have PNG, we have Zlib, we have Bzip2. We can really link against all these things in our application here. And I think this is really cool. So let's weld, see make build build it is going to build our project and as it is building remember if you found this video useful leave a comment like share and subscribe that's going to help the youtube algorithm pick up this video and show it to as many people as possible and that's what we all want so make sure you do that before you move on with the video if you haven't done that already so we have built our project. We have our binaries. You can see rooster here. You can see use FMT. I think we also have a GUI somewhere. So we can run our application. So let's say build debug because we are using MSVC and say GUI. And it is going to run our GUI application. It is showing a green color because that's what we specified in our file here. If you want, you can change this to what do we use? Let's use blue. Why not? and we can build again. So we can run the command to build. So let's say build, build. It is going to build again. It's going to be faster this time and we can run our GUI. It is going to be blue and we have our title here. And this is really cool. This is how you use Conan as a third party dependency manager for your project. The first thing you do, you install Conan through pip. The second thing you do, is to set up your tool chain variable here and point it to your binary dir. This is a file that is generated by the Conan command that we ran. I really want you to see this and it is available here. It is named Conan tool chain file. So let's go there and go into the build directory to really show you that file and see what it contains. So we can reveal in Explorer, go inside build and it is named Conan toolchain file, Conan toolchain. I think it is this file here, that CMake. This is the file. If we open it, we can see what is inside. It is a CMake file. That is going to tell Conan how to 
pull the dependencies for our specific project here. And again, if you want, you can read the documentation to get the details. Here, I just want you to have a good starting example you can use to build your applications using Conan as a dependency manager for your project. This is really all I had to share in this video. I hope you found it useful. I am going to stop here and I will see you next time.